blessed and pleasant Wednesday afternoon, moms and dads, boys and girls. Welcome to another edition of Children's Bible Minute brought to you by the Anglican Diocese of Belize. Rafi Muki and I are excited to be with you on this wonderful Wednesday afternoon. Guess what? It's the 31st day of March. March is officially ended. That's it. No more March. When you wake up tomorrow, it's going to be in the fourth month, the month of April. We are looking this week, and we have discussed this before, we are looking this week at the week leading up to the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus. And we said that we were going to follow the story of Matthew that leads us straight through to the crucifixion of Jesus. Today, we are continuing our look with Matthew 26, verse 14 to 16, which shows us that Judas agrees to betray Jesus. Mm -hmm. Background story, just a little bit because you're going to see it in our videos, but background story. Judas is one of Jesus' 12 disciples, and he is the treasurer of the crowd. So Jesus must have trusted him a great deal in order to give him the money to take care of. Mm -hmm. And Judas is going to betray that trust, and more than that, he is going to turn against his friend, Jesus. But we will hear about that a little bit later. For right now, let's listen to our Bible reading. And the Bible reading comes from the Tehran Society of St. Thomas Apostolic Church in Tinzhi, Hong Kong. Let's have a listen to the reading. The description for the link is in our, the link for this reading, sorry, is in our description below. Let's have a listen. Judas agrees to betray Jesus. Then one of the twelve, the one called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priest and asked, What are you willing to give me if I deliver him over to you? So they counted out for him thirty pieces of silver. From then on, Judas watched for an opportunity to hand him over. Wow, 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 wow. Look at Judas. Judas plotted to men. So Judas was Jesus' friend. Now, Judas didn't think that Jesus was doing all the right things. Judas thought that Jesus would be doing some things differently. And because of this, he was a bit annoyed with Jesus. Yes? And so he went to the chief priests and the Pharisees, the same ones Jesus warned them to not go around with yesterday. He went to those same people Judas did and asked them, how much are you going to give me if I turn Jesus over to you? What? He betrayed his friends, boys and girls. That wasn't a nice thing to do any at all. But I'm not going to tell you more because Holy from the Holy Tales, mm-hmm, she is going to tell us the story. And Gumbo, Toby, and um, Freckles, they are all ready and all waiting for us to hear the story of Jesus. So we're going to join Happy Kids TV and watch the holy tales. Jesus agrees to betray. Judas agrees to betray Jesus. Let's have a look. Hi, my name is Tubby. I live here in this wonderful library and I love to eat books. I live here with my friends Gumbo and Freckles. Gumbo, Freckles, come out, come out, wherever you are. Over there on that great book is Grand Old Holy. She is really old and wise and tells us wonderful stories when she's awake, that is. Oh, and we love to sing. See, I'm awake today. It is such a beautiful day, isn't it? It sure is. Yes. So, what do you want to do on this lovely day? Listen to a story from the Bible. Do tell us one. That sounds perfect. I will tell you what, but you have to listen to me carefully. Yes, we will, Holy. All right then. 
Today's story is about Judas. The feast of the Passover was coming close. Jesus and his followers traveled to Jerusalem and stopped at the village of Bethany. They stayed in the house of their friends Martha and Mary and their brother Lazarus. Jesus had before given Lazarus back his life. That evening, they sat down to have dinner served by Martha. During the meal, Mary came in with a jar of expensive perfumed oil. She bent down in front of Jesus and poured the oil on his feet. She then wiped the oil away with her hair. The air was filled with the smell of the oil. Judas Iscariot, the follower who looked after the fund of money, said, "What a waste." All should have been sold and the money should have been given to the poor. Judas did not say this because he cared for the poor, but because he himself often stole money from the fund. Jesus said, "Leave her alone. When she washed my feet, she was preparing me for my burial. There will always be poor people, but I will not always be with you." Judas was angry that Jesus scolded him and left the house. He wanted to betray Jesus, so he went to the priests. They were happy and promised to give Judas money to get Jesus arrested. Judas agreed and started looking for a chance to betray Jesus. Oh God! What is going to happen now, Holy? Don't be scared, Freckles. All will be good. Now, my question, kids. What did Mary pour on Jesus' feet? Oil. Oh wait, perfumed oil. That's right. The Holy Tales. I enjoyed that one. Freckles, Gumbo, and Pobby. Holy knows how to tell tell a story, doesn't she? Holy indeed knows how to tell a story. There we heard from Hap Kids TV, The Holy Tales, where we went through a lot, actually. We went through Matthew chapter 26, and we went through all the way from verse 6, down to where Judas betrays Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the way to verse 16. So that was a long one. But you know what? It was important to notice. Boys and girls, sometimes the people who we call friends, they're not always going to do the things that are in our best benefit. And we have to be mindful of that. And you know what? Judas was just sad. Judas was sad and he was angry. And sometimes when you're sad and angry, boys and girls, you do some bad things. But then too, Jesus had to be betrayed. He had to be arrested that he could be led out to be crucified to fulfill the will of God. But we're not going to talk about the crucifixion or the last supper or anything like that yet because that is Thursday's and Friday's story. So we can't talk about that just yet. But you know what was sad? Judas didn't go back to ask for forgiveness. Mm -mm. He could have gone back and said, Jesus, I am sorry. He could have prayed and said, God, forgive me for what I did. But he didn't. He was so sad and upset by what he did that he actually killed himself. And we don't know if he asked God for forgiveness. And you know what, boys and girls? That's a sad, sad way to die. Not knowing where you stand with God. That's very, very sad. And when you make mistakes, boys and girls, you have to be willing to say, you know what? I made a mistake. I am sorry. I don't want to do it again. That's it. That's how we have to live our lives. Because it's necessary, huh? It's necessary that that is what we do. Right? And we feel bad for Judas. But he had a choice to make and he made his choice when he agreed to betray Jesus. And guess what? 30 pieces of silver. That's all. 30 pieces of silver was what he sold the Savior of the world for. If each piece of silver was a dollar, it would equal to $30. That's all. And that wasn't a lot of money. Well, it was a lot of money at the time, but it wasn't enough money to pay for the life of the Savior of the world, is it? I don't think so. But what's done is done. And we give God thanks that the story didn't end there. The story continues. And if you want to hear the rest of it, you're going to have to join us tomorrow to find out what happens next. Right? We're going to listen to this song now from um, Manny Carrizales. And this one is entitled Judas. And it's all about Judas and his betrayal of Jesus. Let's have a listen.
Look into the eyes of a man you once called friend. See his face. What was the price you would pay for a kiss? Did it make you rich? Say, what is the price of your soul? Was it worth the life that you stole? Heavy is the silver you that weighs you down that you can't let go but you can't find the air that you breathe on ocean ground so you pay what you owe tell me what Is it worth the risk that you take? Betray those that he keeps so close. And only a friend can forgive those that he loves the Wow, that one was slow and kind of sad, thinking of the fact that Judas betrayed Jesus. And we want to thank Manny Carizales. And of course, we'll put the link in the description section down below that you could check out Manny Carizales' page on YouTube, right? Um, man, it's a kind of a sad story, thinking that on a day like today, Judas, a friend of Jesus, is going to sell him out for 30 pieces of gold and then with the most intimate act of a kiss he is going to betray him boys and girls let me tell you and you know something jesus knew that all of this was going to happen but we're going to talk about judas and the kiss as well as the last supper tomorrow when we come back today we're looking at the fact that matthew 26 from verse 6 through to verse 16 tells us that judas agreed to betray Jesus. We're out of time for today, boys and girls, but let us pray before we go. Is that all right? Excellent. Let's pray. Good afternoon, God. God, we just want to thank you for the opportunity to come into your presence and to learn from your word. God, today was a hard story hearing about Judas agreeing to betray Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. God, we know that sometimes when we do not choose to do what is right, we betray you. When we choose to do wrong over good, we betray you. When we choose to use harsh words instead of words that build up, we betray you. When we choose to show anger and unkindness instead of choosing to show love, we betray you. God, we are sorry if we ever betray you. And we ask God that through your love and your grace, you will guide us to always choose what is right. Father, forgive us. Father, we pray that poor Judas, he had a difficult choice to make and he made the wrong one. We pray God that when we have difficult choices, you will guide us to be able to make the right decisions. Father, for our friends and family and even those we don't know out in the world, help them by drawing their hearts to you that they could choose to do what is right in your sight. God, we just pray for your mercy. 
And we just lift our prayers unto you to the name of your most precious son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, boys and girls, that's all the time we have for today. We got to go get ready. Tomorrow is a big day. And we're going to be looking at another story from Matthew. And this time it will be Matthew chapter 26, verse 17. And it's going to be long. It's all the way to 65. But here's a wonderful story we're going to look at and wonderful songs to go along with it. So we will see you tomorrow at 2.30, same place, same time, for another edition of Children's Bible Minutes. As always, Rafi Muki and I are always excited to be with you. Until tomorrow, do all you can to keep yourself and your family safe. If you're going to go out, wear your mask. If you're going to go out, carry your hand sanitizer. If you're going to go out, practice your social distancing. If you don't have to go out, stay home. Until tomorrow, same place, same time. Don't forget, God loves you and we do too. Until soon, bye for now.